escaping, as so many Haitians were trying to do to get awake from the terror. This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman. It's the first anniversary of the Terre Tremble, the Earth Trembles. That's Creole for the earthquake. And we go directly to Port-au-Prince, where we're joined by Patrick Ailey, a longtime Haitian democracy activist, Haiti's former Secretary of State for Public Security. He's speaking to us from downtown Port-au-Prince, in front of the Champ de Mars, just opposite the National Palace, where thousands of Haitians continue to live in a massive tent camp. It's good to see you again, Patrick A. Lee. Can you share your reflections on this first anniversary of the earthquake, especially just where you stand, what you're looking out over? Well, I'm looking at the end of uh, an era, the end of politics for tens of years, if not centuries. And I'm looking at the defeat of that vision. But I'm also looking at the incredible will to live that exists in this country. And to tell you the truth, even though I'm, I'm, I'm sad today, uh, but I'm not uh, uh, giving up, I'm not discouraged. And I believe uh, the Haitian people will once again surprise the world precisely by its creativity and its will to live that is unshakable even by such a monstrous earthquake. When we last spoke, uh, we were standing on the rubble of the Montana Hotel, um, where people were buried underneath. You're standing in front of the Champ de Mars. Thousands of people remain there. I think this is very hard for people outside of Haiti to understand how still a million people are displaced in Haiti. This after the catastrophe of a quarter of a million at least killed, and now you have cholera on top of this. What has happened in this year? Yes. Why hasn't aid come, Patrick? Well. Uh, first of all, you know, you were dealing with a country that was in very bad shape to start with. And you were dealing with a state that was uh, weak for the mission it must uh, execute. And uh, the earthquake and, uh, paradoxically, the outpour of solidarity uh, has not made things better in terms of the ability and the will of the state to rise up to the challenge. So, uh, of course, one year later, I believe everybody would have uh, expected to see better result, uh, a more pronounced improvement of the situation. But really, what I'm seeing is a uh, if you want, question me, uh, but uh, it's not at all as bad as it is usually described. I don't think truly that the Haitian people have to be pitied or mourned. They, they, they have to get true solidarity in their endeavor to rebuild and not to rebuild the same. You know, Port-au-Prince is a city, and a city is a living organism. And Port-au-Prince, as we speak, is trying to relive the same way it was. And that would be a catastrophe uh, for the country. Port-au-Prince has been strangling the rest of this nation, the rest of this country, for uh, decades. It's time, uh, after the earthquake, to question the whole vision of how Haiti was built. It is time, if you want, to, I don't want to say to destroy Port-au-Prince, but to, to put it in its right place in this country. We must resist the impulse 
to rebuild Port-au-Prince the way it was, uh, a city of exclusion, of hyper-concentration, and of shanty towns, uh, which, uh, if you want, contributed very, very much to the high toll that we've paid after the earthquake. So we definitely have to break away from the course we seem to have been taken, which, is, which has been to do more of the same. We must do that, otherwise it's going to be worse than before. Who controls Haiti now? Who is in control of the reconstruction? We were just speaking with Professor Alex Dupuy, um, who talked about the IHRC, the Interim Haiti Recovery Commission, um, co-chaired by Bill Clinton and the Haitian Prime Minister Jean-Marc Belrive. I believe that, uh, uh, at the moment, Haiti is controlled by uh, a foreign government and foreign interests, the so-called international community. And I'm afraid that in the month or maybe the years to come, it's going to get even worse because, as you know, the election did not, uh, if you want, mobilize the Asian people. And uh, whoever gets elected uh, is going to be a very weak uh, government very weak president with very little popular legitimacy. So the ability of this new leadership to actually uh, mobilize Haitian for reconstruction and be able to engage the international community uh, on a partner-to-partner -partner basis is going to be very, very small. So uh, it's going to take time. But I do believe that the earthquake uh, is also a signal for us to build Haitian democracy on sound foundations, which means the neighborhood committees, the grassroots organization, and, uh, instead of trying to build a democracy from the top down. That's how we built our houses in Port-au-Prince, and you saw what happened. So I believe it's time for serious soul-searching for the nation and um, to do an assessment of what has been the latest episode in uh, Haiti's uh, search and, and, uh, for democracy, uh, which has lasted at least uh, a quarter of a century with very poor results as we speak. Uh